Good morning, people. And yes, it has happened. You have not imagined it. Andy Carroll has re-signed at Newcastle United. We'll be wearing the number seven shirt. No, we haven't gotten back in time. Eight and a half years ago, to be pretty much exact. But he has re-signed back at Newcastle United. And I don't think he had a better option. I don't think we had a better option. It's the best deal for all parties involved. Pay as you play, from what I understand, what we all understand. One year deal. And it makes sense as well. We pretty much... Yeah, covered every player that we, that's gone out, barring Kennedy and barring Diame. But in terms of strikers, we knew we were short in that stint or in that area. And the fact that we've got Carroll is pretty much, or not even pretty much, is an upgrade on Josselu, homegrown. And the best way to put it, someone put it out on Twitter and I tweeted it about myself. The best way, or we finally actually replaced Andy Carroll with Andy Carroll albeit nearly nine years ago, or nine years later. Um, so yeah, a bit of a random one. And the win overall, you've got to admit, it was a bit doom and gloom when Rafa Kate went and Bruce came in. But at the same time, Bruce has been backed. I don't know if they're Bruce's signings. I mean, they're under Bruce. But I think we've been tracking a lot of these players for a long time now. Jetshire Willems being one of them, that's for sure. ASM being another one. Joe Linton was pretty much going to come in before Rafi was talking about leaving the club. But, again, they're under Bruce's radar or under his tenure or whatever you want to call it, managerial career. So, he's been backed and now have to get behind Steve Bruce. I mean, he's not going anywhere anytime soon. But, overall, the window's been good, been positive. We've finally addressed both of those wing-back areas, which has been a problem for us. We've got two good sign it, two good strikers in, should I say, one that we know very well, and Joe Linton still up for debate, although he still scored two goals in pre season. ASM on the wing who can play behind the strikers as well. We've got Almirin obviously who we signed six months earlier. So overall it's looking pretty strong. Um and I'm actually half looking forward to the Arsenal game. A lot of new signings can be on show for both sides. So overall I think it's been a good window for us. If I was to rate it or give it a grade, I'll probably give it like a B minus maybe. Still think we could have done with a next year central midfielder. I know he's linked to a few, but overall I think we've done pretty okay and addressed most areas. And yeah, it's actually starting to look a little bit positive. I know it's never gonna be how it was under Rafa and Mike Ashley's still here. Those two things are things that are not gonna change anytime soon, but we've got to look at the bigger picture now. We've actually got a team that's been replaced um, in terms of the outgoings from last season. So, yeah, very short and sweet from me. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I'll try and do another one of these um, before the Arsenal game. If not, just reviewing, summarising the window with a few friends of mine as well. But let me know your thoughts on the, in the comment section below in terms of how the window went for you. But yes, the main point of this video is to say that Andy Carroll has come home, number seven. And, uh, yeah, even if we get 10 good games out of him, I think it'll be worthwhile signing overall. So, yeah, peace out for me, and I'll see you guys all soon. Maybe summarising the Arsenal game, hopefully with a first home win. Anyway, <laughs> speak to you soon.